Hello and welcome, and if the weather forecasters are to be believed, we're in for a very rainy night here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City facing Burnley. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? the Manchester City lineup. Ederson begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the bursts. Ben Mee plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence and the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And now they get the ball rolling. Chris Wood. Oh, surely. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But they dealt with the threat posed. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, later in the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. Be the goalkeeper's ball. Well timed tackle. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Chris Wood and with that the attack fizzles out Riyad Mahrez and Grealish chance for Gundogan and that's what they needed Manchester City a goal to level matters here
Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Even Steven won a piece in this match. How can he take them on and beat them? And Marez inside, cuts it back. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Brownhill James Tarkovsky well, the timing was perfect ball one and the keeper will happily collect that one Gundogan Joao Cancelo really sitting deep now that could be problematic it's with Joao Cancelo I must say this looks promising could cross it in here and a strong tackle an example of how to press pressing high and they have the ball again Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. So there we have it, 2-1. Oh, good play, this. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, And momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, a glut of goals, two apiece. Ferran Torres. City pushing forward with options available. Torres. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Determined defending. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it petered out. And with that, the first half draws to a close. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45?
And now they get the ball rolling. Chris Wood. Oh, surely. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Chance for Gundogan. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. An example of how to press. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Foul there, free kick awarded. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. And they deal with the threat this time. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And let's give credit to the defending. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And cleared away. Torres. Well, not very clever defending. Determined defending. Goodmanson. And deliver towards the back post. And I thought that might carry a threat, but a strong punch by the keeper. Will this corner bear fruit for them? A change in the offing for City. Number 10, Jack Grealish. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, Raheem Sterling. Corner kick played in. Well, thumped clear. Oh, super piece of play. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. So making the substitution now. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Josh Brownhill. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Jack Cork. And he's fired over the corner. And still dangerous. Simple catch, really. Oh, given away, Raheem Sterling. Laporte. It's with Gundogan. City move it forward with purpose. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. 
Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And it's in! The back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. And they need to get tighter. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Time for the change now. Number 10, Ashley Barnes, to be replaced by number 19, Jay Rodriguez. Well, nearing the end, it's not happening for City at the moment in terms of the scoreline. Can they change that? Well, what a game we've had here. Good goals, some sloppy defending and some great individual performances. But they need to find a moment of magic here to get back into this. I certainly won't be surprised if they do get the equaliser. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Rodri. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Joao Cancelo. Torres. Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Substitution for Manchester City. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Torres. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Went in strongly, decisively. Not a great pass. Oh, and couldn't convert. <laughs> a City free kick forthcoming. Joao Cancelo, and so the referee blows for full time, and it's disappointment for Manchester City, a defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance? Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.
And now they get the ball rolling. 